Hi, I'm Sarah Baya, and welcome to my science class. We have another fun and interesting lesson today. In today's lesson, we will be describing changes in the properties of materials when they are mixed with other materials. At the end of our lesson, you are expected to Describe what happens to solid materials when mixed with other solid materials. Describe what happens to solid materials when mixed with liquid materials. And describe what happens when two liquid materials are mixed. Last week, we learned that materials when heated or cooled can change their size, shape, texture, and may also change in their form. So let's review our past lesson with this simple activity. Some changes in materials when heated or cooled can be reversed, while others cannot. I will show you some pictures and you will guess if the changes are reversible or irreversible. If you are ready, let's begin! If you answer them all correctly, congratulations! Do you eat salad? Think about how you prepare a salad. You chop up the lettuce, tomatoes, cheese, ham, and maybe you throw in an egg. You put them in a bowl and toss. Yummy, isn't it? Did anything about the ingredients change? A salad is a very good example of a mixture. In chemistry, a mixture is a substance that is made up of two or more simpler substances. By combining solid materials, they can be made into a mixture. Let me demonstrate how to make a mixture of solid materials found in our kitchen. As a safety reminder, be careful in doing the activity. Always ask and do the activity in the presence of an adult. Do not taste the mixture to prevent you from getting sick and always wash your hands after mixing materials.
Did you observe what happened when I mixed the materials together? In which mixture can you still identify the solid materials put together? Was there a change in the characteristics of each solid material in the mixture? Let's discuss further. In the first mixture, I put together a teaspoon of coffee and a teaspoon of creamer. When I mix them together, they form a mixture. Both materials retain their characteristics. Nothing's changed in both solids because we can still identify the coffee and creamer even after mixing them. This type of mixture is called heterogeneous mixture. In the second mixture, I combined flour and detergent. When I mixed them together, they form a mixture. Was there a change in their characteristics? The answer is no. Both solids retain their size, shape, and color even after mixing them. But unlike the first mixture, I cannot anymore distinguish the two solid materials from each other. The resulting mixture looked the same throughout because of their color. Such mixture is called homogeneous mixture. Have you seen your mother prepare your favorite fruit juice for your merienda? What are the ingredients you mixes to prepare the juice? In the first activity, we observe solid materials mixed with another solid material. For our next activity, I'm going to demonstrate to you solid materials mixed with a liquid material. What do you think will happen to solid materials when mixed with the liquid materials? Let's watch this. By combining solid materials and liquid materials, we form a mixture. In the first mixture, I combined a gelatin powder with water. After stirring, what did you notice? The gelatin powder completely dissolved in water. Dissolved means to mix with a liquid to form a mixture or a solution. So where did the gelatin go? The gelatin powder spreads out and thoroughly mix with water until you cannot see them anymore. This type of mixture is called a homogeneous mixture. For the second mixture, what happened to the flour? Did it dissolve in the cooking oil? The flour float on top of the cooking oil. 
Flour does not mix with cooking oil. The particles in the cooking oil are held together very tightly. That is why it does not mix with the flour. This type of mixture is called a heterogeneous mixture. Do you help in doing household chores? For example, washing the dishes. Before washing, we mix some water and dishwashing liquid to make a bubble. For our final activity, we will investigate what happens to liquid materials when mixed with other liquid materials. Let's watch this simple demonstration. Liquid materials can be mixed with other liquid materials. For example, when we mix the fish sauce and water, they completely mix with each other. The water change in color, taste, and smell when combined with the fish sauce. But in the case of soy sauce and cooking oil, the oil floats because it is less dense than the soy sauce. Soy sauce is mostly water that is why the oil floats on top of it. Some liquids do not mix but forms two layer just like the soy sauce and cooking oil. It's challenge time once again. I will show you materials and you will guess by beating the correct buzzer. Beat the red buzzer if it is a homogeneous mixture and the green buzzer if it is a heterogeneous mixture. So if you're ready, let's begin.
If you got all correct answers, good job! And now for our recap. In this lesson, you learned that materials, when combined together, forms a mixture. Some materials can be mixed while others do not. So that's it for our lesson today. Don't forget to read more about our lesson in your textbook and module and answer the activities in your worksheets. I'm your teacher, Sir Abaya. Thanks for listening. Goodbye class! That's all for today. See you next time!